Rolex 24, 2024. Walk continues. It is 8.30. Race is seven hours complete. Most everybody is still on track. Behind me, the garages are empty. The teams hope they stay that way for the next 17 hours. Unfortunately, some of the big teams have been um, in the garage for a little bit. Um, the number nine, the McLaren, the number 14, the Lexus have been in the garage for a good little bit throughout the night. Um, and we've also lost a few cars. Um, the number 88, the prototype two car, Amongst those that fill out the race, the number 22 is also out, which had which had um, an, F, an XF1 driver, one of the stars of IndyCar in it. But there is still so many cars left, still so much intrigue still left in this race. It's amazing right now. Even though the cars are not in the garage, the paddock back here still uh, still vibrant. Plenty of fans walking around. Um, Getting ready for the fireworks. They'll take off at 10 p.m. tonight. But apart from that, it has been a very, very busy afternoon. A lot of craziness. The first hour had like three wrecks. Um, but they've calmed down. The field's gotten to a rhythm. We've had our yellows here and there. Um, going to the board, I got up here. We're on lap 214. So 214 laps, seven hours. Not bad, but by no means race record pace. Um, they actually set the record a few years ago. They almost hit 3,000, almost hit 3,000 miles. I think they were like 20 miles short of the 3,000 mile mark. But that was like four years ago. So we're still gonna keep going. I'll have a couple more updates throughout the night and a few more videos I'll send. But as you can tell, it's still a pretty vibrant paddock. I'm gonna head back towards the speedway. See if we get any crazy stuff pop up. Oh, and as soon as I say that, this looks like a car's coming in on the tow. And it's the number 33, the one that everyone's been complaining about. This car has just had so many problems. It's the one unique car in the field in this class because it's the only prototype. It's called a Ligier. Everyone else is running a chassis called Orca. There's only four chassis you can run in the class. But yeah, he's had a rough day and a rough go at it, so. Not gonna be too surprised if that's the end of the race for that number 33 car. But apart from that, that's the update right now. Porsche leads Cadillac, Porsche number seven, leads Accurance, leads Cadillac's numbers 31 and 01, seven hours into the 62nd Rolex 24 at Daytona.